Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be trying to run the original RPCS3 emulator on our Android devices with the help of an Windows emulator. For today's video, we'll be using the Mobox Windows emulator for Android. I have been getting a lot of comments from you guys telling me to test out RPCS3 on this emulator since the Wine eSync update was released. And that's what we are gonna do in today's video. But before starting, I'd like to talk about minimum requirements. You need at least 8 GB of RAM and also Snapdragon 695 processor or above. If you also want to try out rpcs3 on your android devices but let me start off by talking about a fact that you need to downgrade your mobox emulator from wow 64 to the normal version that is the most important step because rpcs3 emulator doesn't really work on the wow 64 version of mobox so what you have to do is just go ahead and copy the command from its official github page and afterwards paste it in the termux app as we do with the mobox simulator setup because it is very important to switch to the normal version of mobox simulator and you'll need to wait for few seconds i am showing you guys this tutorial on a different device because i have already set up the normal mobox simulator on my oneplus 11. once you paste the command you will get an option you just have to go ahead and type y and then tap on enter afterwards here you will have to select mobox with box 64 instead of wow 64 version and then tap on the enter button adding the old version of mobox simulator onto your android devices and once that has been done we are almost set to using rpcs3 on android i'll show you guys the best settings for rpcs CS3 as well as Mobox Simulator, so be sure to watch the video till the end. As you can see, you also get the option to switch to Mobox WoW 64 version, which is experimental. And to be honest, the old version of Mobox Simulator was the best, it didn't really have any lagging issues. Anyways, what you'll need to do is go to Dynamic Settings and afterwards use the preset 45 as we usually do for the best amount of performance possible. Afterwards, make sure that the Wine Async has been turned on because after Wine Async, the performance of RPCS3 Simulator will be pretty amazing once that has been done just go ahead and start wine as you do normally and if you are starting it for the first time it may ask you to configure few things but that's not the case for me anyways once everything has been set up just go to the start option and afterwards make sure that you are using the dxvk asynchronous 1.10.3 as well as turnip zinc version 4 drivers and to be honest guys this version of mobox simulator is super fast as you can see within just few apps you will be able to explore file manager and i have already loaded a specific version of rpcs3 emulator on my android device this is the best working version of rpcs3 emulator and if this video reaches 250 likes then i'll test out games like god of war and much more on this version of rpcs3 in mobox simulator at the top left corner you'll be able to check out the version which i am using for today's video it is the version 0.0.0.6 3915 after you are back with the old version of mobox just go ahead and type the mobox command and start the emulator you can copy the build number and try to find this build because rpcs3 is a completely open source ps3 emulator for pc so this is the best working build for rpcs3 emulator the next step is to simply head on over to the configurations afterwards open settings and apply the following settings as i am about to show you guys make sure to set the ppu decoder from interpreter to recompiler afterwards the spu decoder should be interpreted then we'll head on over to the graphics section make sure to choose the renderer as OpenGL resolution keep it to 1920 by 1080p d3d adapter make sure to choose the turnip adreno driver uh, which your device has afterwards frame limit make sure to keep it off now by default these options should be enabled these four boxes will be tick marked we'll need to make sure to disable all of those boxes and afterwards tap on the ok button then go back to config go back to settings and make sure that your settings have been applied properly now that our best settings have been applied, the next step is to tap on the boot option, then go to the PKG option and make sure to add your PS3 titles like I have done for the Sonic CD trial which I have added on the RPCS3 emulator. So let's just go ahead and double tap on the game. It will successfully start on your Android devices. When you open it for the first time, it will show you a black screen, but you'll have to wait for a few seconds until the game actually starts. At the top right corner, you'll also notice that uh, we have the input bridge on screen touch controls option. We'll be using the input bridge profile to add the on screen touch controls to emulate and PS3 title on our Android devices. And as you guys can see, we are running RPCS3 emulator on our Android devices. Now, uh, when the game starts at the top left corner, you will notice that the FPS is a bit low and the audio will also be choppy. So we'll just go ahead and close the audio output and then 
tap on the enter button immediately you will notice that the fps bar will go up by a little bit now don't worry guys because i am pretty sure we should be getting around 50 to 100 fps while emulating this game on my oneplus 11 with snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor as you guys can see the game has successfully started now we can choose the option to start game so we'll just go ahead and tap on the enter button Afterwards, we'll just go ahead and tap on enter again. Uh, we'll be choosing the default option and the FPS will be flickering. Sometimes you'll get really F amazing FPS. Sometimes you'll get very less FPS because we are using a very old build of RPCS3 emulator. And there we go. The game has successfully started and we should be able to play it. At the beginning uh, of the game, you'll notice that our game is lagging quite a lot. So at the top left corner, you will be able to notice we are getting around uh, 40 to 50 FPS. Now it's all the way up to 60 and uh, 80 to 90 FPS. So yeah, this game is definitely playable on Android. As you guys can see, our character is running super fast and everything is being rendered properly with no graphical issues. Though there are some stuttering issues, so frame drops at some points. And one thing I can notice is that there are no graphical issues whatsoever. So I'm thinking that we might really be able to get away with emulating some high titles in our future videos of rpcs3 testing be sure to hit that like button because as i said before 250 likes and i'll uh, try to test out god of war ascension as well as god of war 3 on rpcs3 emulator android that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out